What if you want to click a link and it takes you to a specific page and it opens a specific tab? So you could share a link in an email or even anywhere on your website. And when they click that, it goes to a tab or an accordion or anything like that. And it specifically goes to a specific tab. This is all thanks to Maxine from element.how. The link is in the video description if you want to go and get the code. But I'm going to show you how to do that. And it is so flipping simple. I've got over here the new Elementor tabs. And you can use this with the accordions as well. This is really basic. We've got three tabs. Tab one, two, three, and four. I have intentionally called it where I've got numbers and words inside the title. And I've also made sure that none of my titles are singular words. Like it doesn't just say tab. It's got tab hashtag one in there. And then obviously I've got my contents. So if you were to move around, you can see the content change. I want to drop in a bit of code so that if I was to now share a link for specifically tab three, when you click that, it goes here and it goes to tab three. Let me show you what you need to do. First thing is go and grab a HTML widget. I've dropped it in at the top. Now you can drop it anywhere. I like to put it at the top above my tab or my accordion just so I know where things are on the page. Remember to click the link and go and get the code, which you can get for free. Go and paste it in. Now, there's a few things you need to do to make it work properly. Go and click on your tabs or your accordion, and you want to go over to where you have your titles. When you click on each title, you're going to notice a CSS ID field. Go and give it a name over here and make sure it's a unique name for each one. I'm just going to put tab one, tab two, tab three, and tab four. And that's literally it. You drop the HTML in. You paste in the code and you go and give your CSS ID name labels over here for each of your tabs. Now let's test it out. I'm going to take the URL of this page. I'm going to scroll to the top where I have this particular button over here. I'm going to go to content and I'm going to give this a link. So this is that URL. Page is called custom. And then I'm going to type in tab three. So when we go to preview, you can see the button is up there. And down below, we have the tabs. And tab one is open by default. There is tab three, but we're going to leave it on tab one. Let's now go to the top and click the button. Now, remember, this button could be anywhere. It could even be within an email, right? You could send out an email. They click it, and it goes to a specific page and a specific tab. Let's click that. And did you see that? Scroll down, and it went to tab three. Hey, let's go and change it to say tab two. Let's hit update. We're back on our page, and I'm now going to open tab four. Let's scroll back to the top. You click it. Oh, look, it went to tab two. Maxime has worked wonders with this because before he had a bit more of a lengthier code and you had to kind of do a little bit more extra work. This is magic, right? You drop the HTML in, you then give your titles a CSS ID, and that's it. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame.